all right we have the same problem over here but uh, this time uh, we will basically we like in the previous problem uh, in, we basically what we did was we took a this strip and uh, remember we take the strip as vertical okay uh, very important point when we take the vertical strip uh, you can very easily see here as that uh, uh, this distance the distance uh, from the y axis to the x uh, to this point to the tilde and uh, is same from here to here it is same and that is why you can say x equals to x tilde so the horizontal distances from the y axis on the strip are same so we can very easily apply the formula x square da we can this formula could very easily be applied but uh, now we try to take uh, solve same problem and we say that we want to take the strip as horizontal we take the strip as horizontal so if you take the strip horizontal so now you can say that uh, the distance of the y axis from the uh, uh, horizontal strips are all different like uh, you have got one point over here or if you look if you go here you've got one point here okay so this is one point and you've got another point over here this this point in the midpoint this point then you've got one point here so this point is x tilde y tilde this point is x comma y but you can very easily write if you want to write here i can say that uh, you can very easily say that x tilde is not equal to x because you can easily see this distance is x tilde from the y axis and this tilde is x so x tilde is not equal to x so that since that you have got different x from the y axis so now you are basically not in a position to solve the problem you are not in a position to solve the problem so how shall we proceed for problems like this we will be basically whenever you take a strip uh, horizontally in this scenario you will be using what is called as the a theorem called parallel axis theorem we will be using this theorem as parallel axis theorem so uh let's start it uh, okay so, so using the parallax theorem now the strip uh, we have to basically concentrate in these problems on the strip this is very important now let's see uh, this strip since it is different so we can say that uh, the y uh, basically tilde will be equals to y this is one very simple uh, assumption that we can take okay but uh, another assumption that we we can see directly and we can assume it correctly is that your x tilde if you look at it uh, here this thing your x tilde is equals to x by 2 because this point is x and this x basically means starting from this point to this point is x okay so basically x uh, is basically starting from the origin to this point till x this is x so what is going to be x tilde x by 2 this is a very important point okay the other point that we have to take for this horizontal strip here is that uh, this uh, strip is basically uh, rectangular in nature this strip is rectangular in nature so when the strip is rectangular in nature the moment of inertia of the strip when it is rectangular you must always remember just for, for the shape of a rectangular strip it will be termed as uh, uh, basically since it's parallel to the uh, x axis so we will call it as, as its moment of inertia will always be uh, 1 by 12 uh, x cube uh, dy okay so we will be taking uh, the moment of inertia of the strip as 1 by 12 uh, x cube uh, dy Uh, this is it. this is the standard formula that uh, you have to basically uh, use when taking the rectangular strip moment of uh, inertia okay moment moment of inertia is a second moment of area another point that you must see is that the moment 
arms measured from the y axis changes as we move along the length of the strip therefore now iy cannot be directly calculated using the formula that is the reason you are not using this formula directly iy equals to integral x square da but uh, here you will be using what is called as the parallel axis theorem okay so if you go what is the parallel axis theorem will be parallel axis theorem on differential on differential basis will be moment of inertia uh, moment of area about the y axis diy okay so what is going to be if, if i say diy diy this is your going to be your this axis this this axis is your going to be the axis of diy okay you want uh, basically uh, the moment of uh, diy dash what is diy dash okay this will basically be uh, the let's say this axis the axis are at a centroid is going to be diy okay so this is very important point you must remember this thing okay so just make it a bit more okay this is the axis what we call as the y dash axis this is you can call it as a y dash axis okay and the moment of inertia on it will be i y dash okay so this point is very crucial to understand now what we can say is that another thing for the distance from the distance from the centroid from the centroid which means this distance from uh, x tilde to this point from where the y axis uh, this point okay this distance is basically this distance this distance is basically called as basically d it will be called as the d okay and you already know what really is d d a simple is the differential area of the of the strip okay so this is and now we will basically be calculating uh, this problem on the second moment of area okay so we have understood uh, the moment of uh, moment of area about the y axis is to be calculated so but since will be the distances are not constant along the length x so we will be used taking the second moment of area about a uh, 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 centroid of this strip plus d square uh, d square which is distance from this point to this point which is the distance from uh, this point to this point this is going to be the d and uh, da is the differential area of the strip okay so let's proceed with the numerical we have understood the basic concept of the strip so again i told you what is the rectangular uh, a, a rectangular moment of area of the strip it will be diy dash is equals to 1 by 12 x cube dy okay if you go to my google classroom uh, on second moment of area uh, for uh, basically notes i have basically uh, added uh, Uh, basically uh, a pdf file on it in which telling you how to calculate the second moment of area of a rectangle about the x axis and about the y axis okay so we have already told you about that so we as we had need to calculate the second moment of area about the uh, y axis it is going to be 1 by 12 uh, x cube which is uh, times dy this is going to be the uh, second moment of area about the iy dash axis and this is you have to learn you have to learn it as a standard formula okay if you want to calculate di x dash in another problem uh, uh, so it will be uh, the opposite of this okay it will be the opposite of this it, it it will it can be y cube times of dx so d is equals to x tilde equals to x by 2 already explained what is going to be da da is very simple uh, what is the length of the strip the length of the strip is starts from here to where is x what is the width of the strip this is dy so da equals to x dy so everything is now arranged just needs to put it in this formula just needs to put it so that we can understand we have already understood all the concepts so let's uh, say what is going to be diy is equals to Uh, what was diy dash it was 1 by 12 x cube dy plus what was d it was x by 2 and uh, what was da x times of dy okay so we have done this and if you seek 1 by 12 x cube dy plus uh, you can write it as x cube upon uh, 4 times dy 
but uh, you can integrate here diy will be integral here it will be iy but you cannot integrate this equation again why you cannot integrate it because this is dy and you are basically another uh, variable is in x cube so it cannot be integrated but we know what is the function what is the function given to us as y cube is equals to x square transform this function uh, and try to calculate the value of x cube so that you can replace x cube with a function of, with a value of y we know x square equals to y cube so x will be equals to y to the power 3 by 2 so basically x cube if you if you cube this function uh, take a cube on both sides so x cube will be uh, y to the power 9 by 2 okay so here basically if you further simplify x cube into dy and this so for, uh, in this function simplify it take the lcm you get 16 over 48 x cube dy and uh, just uh, at x cube you're going to put the value x cube you can put the value y to the power 9 by 2 you put it y to the power 9 by 2 with a, with a sign of integral and now it has become a very very simple uh, integration to perform uh, with the limit 0 to 1 and you can just put it in your calculator and uh, this is step by step shown but you don't need to show it in the exam okay we are not looking for you to mathematically solve integration sit till here just put the function and put the uh, directly into your calculator and what i want you is to put uh, from here you just directly reach to this these results and that is what we want and you'll get the full numbers so i hope you understand uh, both the techniques of uh, solving these problems when you are using parallaxis theorem when you are using parallaxis theorem why because you are taking the horizontal strips all the x distances are different and in that scenario you take parallaxis theorem and in the previous one problem here you take a you, as you are told to calculate uh, second unit about the y axis i of x is you taking the conventional way or taking the strip parallel to the y axis and solving it as all the x's x distances are over here very important point are constant and you can be very very easily solve it without using the parallaxis theorem okay so you are wise that is why uh, you're using in this way but you must remember and at a very important point you must know both the methods uh, as they are quite helpful in some cases which will come in the future uh, numericals so i hope we finish it here and thank you let's move for another video after this solve a new numerical thanks